Okay, every year I do a little video on some of the projects I'm going to do in the off season. So uh, last year I had my A-liner still, but now I have the Geo Pro. So been really lucky so far that the Geo Pro hasn't had that many things I've had to change on it. But there are a few projects that I'm going to be working on over the next couple months through the winter months and get it ready for the 2021 season. So I'm going to go over those little ideals now that I'm going to try to work on this year. We may not get to every one of these projects, but we're going to try to do it, do as many as possible. One of the experiments that I did and one of the videos I did was putting this tape on here for a deflection reflector for the uh, to deflect the heat out of this water heater whenever it's running in LP uh, I've come up with a couple ideas a couple people have told me things about using a piece of metal and riveting this on so eventually that's gonna be a project I'll be working on I'll pick a piece of tin and I'll put pop rivets probably on each side and make that a little more permanent because it does work and so I want something a little more permanent so that's one project that I'll be working on as we go through the year Another project that I'm going to do is I've actually added a uh, cigarette lighter plug and a couple USBs that run to the 12 volt on this right side. And I do have the USBs that run off the battery on this side, but I do want to plug in, put another setup on this side, and that will be pretty easy to hook up. I've got access to 12 volt inside of that section, and that'll help me out because I've moved my side of the bed over here, and I have my CPAP machine, so that way I can plug into that. 12 volt from this side so that's another project I'll be working on another project we're gonna be working on is this drawer here we actually had our seasonings put in here and it's made quite a mess it bounces around quite a bit and we've come to the conclusion that there's a lot more room in that drawer or that little section here and what we're gonna do is make a drawer out of this maybe put our seasonings in there maybe have some room for a few more things but we're gonna make this into a drawer so that'll be one project that we're gonna work on so a project I might do in the future, it's going to be, I might just put a drawer in the front of this right here. This is the part where the bathroom goes in and this is under the dinette where the water heater is. Quite a bit of room up here on the top. I might put a drawer that only goes about halfway down in this area. It comes back about that far. But you can get about a 6 inch to 8 inch, maybe even a 10 inch drawer and probably about uh, five inches deep in that space so I may work on that in the future it might be one of my projects another project that I'm gonna try to do a little work on too is this bottom drawer under here it opens up like this now and it's got a lot of room in there we're gonna work on there's a panel in there we're gonna try to make take that panel and push it further back we're gonna make a bigger area and more storage or we may even turn this into another drawer we're not really sure how we'll do that but that'll be definitely another project that we can add more storage into there another project we're going to work on is going to, on the fd you have this storage compartment on each side and i've done some good stuff with the with some of the storage bins on this side still have access to put a hanging thing on here but I'm going to at least do one of these sides and I've actually did a project where I used these tubes and they work okay but they're not really what I want so what I'm going to do is at least one side we're going to add a couple of shelves at least two in here maybe a third one that way we get stuff more organized in there my wife decides she's not going to hang anything anyway so we're definitely going to do shelves in this unit. So that'll be another project that we work on as the year progresses. Another project that I'm not sure if we'll get to this year, but we're, we definitely got it in the air to do it eventually, is we want to put a bigger table extension on this end here. I know there's somebody on Facebook that actually makes these, and hopefully I can get one that'll fit up to the FD model, make that a bigger shelf. And also this plug here, it extends out quite a ways here and that's really not necessary it's got a full-size box behind there so I'm going to work with that and try to make that more flush and add that into where we don't have to worry about that being in our way so much another project that we're going to work on is uh we're going to add a 30 amp plug I bought this box here bought this at the Menards for I think it was $29 and we're going to add a uh, 30 amp plug set up outside we've got uh, we've got really close access now we can plug our, our camper in with the 110 hookup 
but I'd just rather have a, a 30 amp setup. So we've, it's not too hard. All we've got to do is put that box mounted on the side of the house here, go straight in. I'll have an electrician come in and tie it into my panel. That way we can just probably put it up high up here and we'll just have a setup where we can bring our cord around and just plug that in and plug into our camper. And that way we always plug in the day before we go camping just to do some things in the camper and then let all the batteries charge up really good. So that's a project we're going to work on and uh, we'll just see how that goes as the year progresses. And that's pretty much it for some of the projects. I'm sure we'll find a few more as the time goes by. Uh, let me know what projects y'all might be doing this year. Uh, put them in the comments and uh, these are some that we're going to work on. Stay with me throughout the, the uh, winter months and I'll be working on these. We also will do a couple how-to videos. One of them that I'm really wanting to do right now, probably here pretty soon, is I'm going to do one on the inverter. The inverter on these campers, a lot of confusion on that as far as when the thing's on, when it's off, what's the best time to use it. So I'm going to do a video on that and I'll find a few more videos to do on some how-to things of the camper throughout the year. So stay tuned for some of those. And uh, that's about all I have on this video. Uh, like I say, if you've got other other projects you're going to work on through the off season, let me know, and maybe it's something that I might want to do on my camper as well. So we'll talk to you again on another video.